Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be installing this Asus GTX 950 mini series into the server. This has no 6 pin power connector so it can run right off the PCIe motherboard. And the reason why I need this is simply just so I can have better graphics and maybe play the occasional game when I have guests over that can use Steam Stream. So without any further waiting, let's go ahead and jump right on in. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack open this box. And inside, we have the graphics card itself. We have uh, whatever this is, and some drivers. And that's it. Doesn't come with anything else. Now we have the GPU itself. As you can see here, it is missing its 6 pin connector for power. This is a 70 watt, 75 watt CPU connection. So it doesn't need more than that. The Asus GTX 950 Mini is perfect for small form factor builds and servers because it's 17 centimeters in length and is a two slot GPU. The GPU base clock speed is 1026 megahertz with a GPU boost clock of 1190 megahertz. The two gigabytes of DDR5 memory is clocked at 6610 megahertz and it has a total of 768 CUDA cores. For I.O. it packs one display port, one HDMI 2.0 port, and one DVI port. It also supports HTCP and a digital max resolution of 4096 by 2160. Okay, so you guys are getting a sneak peek at the new server. This is going to replace, or well this has replaced the simulator. And it will be taking over all of the old jobs and doing some new ones hopefully. Now installing the GPU should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna pop out this riser card here and then simply insert this, this two-slot GPU into the first right or into the first PCI Express slot. Slide that right on in. Alright, now that I have it plugged in, I'm just gonna secure it. Slide this right back on down. Okay, now that's installed. So we're gonna turn it on and then we're gonna do some benchmarking and test it out with some games. And the power is currently out, but I can still install the graphics drivers. <laughs> and hopefully we won't have any problems. You might be able to hear the ups clicking on and off in the background. And there it goes. Okay, so the graphics card worked, and we're going to install the latest drivers while we can. We have the power flickering because of a thunderstorm, so there's a good chance this all might crash during installation. And the power just keeps trying to go out, but it's still staying on strong. Luckily the server is on a battery backup so I don't have to worry about the power dipping during installation and possibly ruining the install of the graphics drivers. Okay, the first benchmark we're going to look at is Firestrike, the 1080p version, not the 4K one. As you can see here, the graphics score of the GTX 950 is 5864 with a total score of 5154, which is not too bad considering the 75 watts of power it uses. Okay. The next benchmark we're going to look at is Doom on the high preset and as you can see here the GPU is getting between 25 and 32 frames per second and this is on OpenGL 4.5. Finally we have Rise of Tomb Raider also at 1080p on the high preset with an overall score of 38.2 frames per second on DirectX 11. So the GTX 950 is a beautiful card and packs a pretty decent punch for its price. If you're looking for a low power solution to your server and or ITX build, it might be the right card for you. But don't forget, with the advent of the 1050s and 1060s right around the corner, there's a good chance that the third party manufacturers will also make a low power solution for your ITX builds and even server. And with all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.